Yes. All right. Now let's uh, go back to here. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Okay. Now, of course, we'll have it like a ladies' time, you know? Ladies' time. Works out. <laughs> All right, first off. Oh, the silencer. Still shit. <laughs> <gasps> no. Oh, that's pristine. Oh, both of these are pristine. Okay. Perfect. That's actually pretty good. I'll sell these. Woo! Alright. So. Good. Good. Alrighty. Well, first off, let's go and, uh, do that. Oh. Here you go. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? Yes. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Yeah, investigate that. Oh, yeah. My engineer is looking to do some deep cleansing. Why don't you... I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a home makeover kit. And I snagged a couple for myself. Nice. High-grade shampoo and conditioner. Scrubby brush. A nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them, too. What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such. Me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? Uh, you got a preference? Oh, gosh. We never talked about what kind of smells she likes. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. It comes down to what sort of intent you got. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ship. Now, if I was a young thing trying to come on all precious like, I'd probably go with Rosish. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and cinnamon. I guess you could eeny miny mow it. Take your time, dear. A lady sense has a lot about her. Hmm. Well, an engineer might like refurbish ship, scrub parts and all that. Like grit and grime covered over with cleaner, you mean? Well, that's a smell that means we're really going places. Exactly. I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. Oh, thank you. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so happy. Oh, you don't have... Well... You're welcome, dear. Well, anyway... I also investigate that, uh, that need the stress signal. What's that? Speak up now. About the secret you asked me. you turn up? <laughs> I found this fancy toothpaste formula. Here you go. These corporations, I tell you. Once they get an idea into their big, dense heads, there's no getting it out again. Can't imagine how I'll offload this. But voice not, want not, I suppose. All right. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. Hmm. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. Yeah. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me. Someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. 
Yeah, I think that's it. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Yep, certain there's nothing left. I can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. Right. You can come visit anytime. Yay! Reputation increase. All right, well. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Uh, yeah. Let me see I what. I found a handsome ceramic mandapillar at a salvage auction last week. I'm good, thank you, though. Junk. Yeah, just sell junk. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice, we got this stuff. Woo! Alright, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Go with a little bit of that, a little bit of this, then this, that, and that. Perfect. Perks, 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 perks. What are we gonna go for, actually? Hmm. Ah, uh, bonus to dialogue. Nah. Could go with that. Oh, yeah, that's the TTD stuff. Hmm. We'll go with that. Just boo. Ah! What the fuck? That's huge. Okay. Now I can. I'm going to be able to set foot on a whole other planet. Well, I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. I hope this fancy soap we got is extra strength. I'm feeling a might ripe. So here's your soap. Thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch: dustback casserole, salt tuna and Zeno Gold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called a uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. Now, there's gotta be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I would tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. Yeah, that's all right. We'll figure it out. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. All right, so we have to go... Okay, well, first off... Well, at least we got that done. Scraper. Yeah, because this is going to be on Monarch. That's going to be on... Oh, boy. We still have, like, a bunch. Alright. Oh, what's this? Time for today for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Well, I wanted to ask what you do something. You want, else. Then? My hard-earned wisdom. Uh, you mentioned Groundbreakers outside of Board's control. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. Okay, well that's all for now because it looks like that's not. Hold on, what is it? What did I say here? Hmm. Spacer, spacer, spacer. Okay. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Okay, back to your hard-earned ones, though. Straight to the point, eh? Uh, what do you do here? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks. Curios. 
I also need throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. But that's more of a passion project. That's a bit concerning. So that's what that smell is. Sometimes the hairs poke out between the seams, but I don't mind. That's what the law gave us matches for. But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? So why'd the boar recall the Stellar Bay napkins? Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony. And they're trying to hide the evidence. What makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their dairy airs. Ooh. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama. Showcasing one board screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch. But who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. All right, well, thank you for your time. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. No, oh, thank you. All right, so that's not going to be helpful. Hmm. All right. I do that. Then after we're gonna talk to Lila, Lilia, Lilia, whatever, and then we're gonna end off because we have done a lot. So yeah. Hola. My comm center already got an update ping from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. Mm-hmm. Here's your backup data. Thanks. Hmm. That's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment off Hey, everyone likes me. Chief June Lay. Try not to spend it all in one place. Mm, nice, thank you. Yay! I am now revering. Sick! Alright. So, hold on. Oh, nice! Damn, they give me they give me a huge drop in like price, which is great. All right, let me talk to you. All right, Lilia. Make this conversation worth my time, Captain. Got Nev key to celebrate. Is that job still sure up for me? Welcome aboard, Contractor. Thank you. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. What kind of salvage are we looking for? When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off-world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. All right. What is that? It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. But it can be a lot of fun. If you don't mind the possibility of rewiring your body on an atomic level. You and I have different notions of fun, Dr. Fenhill. <laughs> so what's Sublight doing in Fallbrook? 
A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around the board embargo. Mm. To keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. How, yeah, how unconventional? Ask for a friend. One of my guys filmed a raptodon grinding on an auto mech. Didn't end well for anyone, including the cameraman. Okay, well, I'll take the job. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. Understood? Anything else I should know about Few Monarch? laws and even fewer people to enforce them. Uh, if you're working for the right side, it's a fucking paradise. All right. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Pro Good enough for me. Yeah. All right. So now we have. We have a lot. Oh shit! I almost forgot. We got to do that. We got to pick that up. Good gig, if you don't mind where the bits come from. True. I almost forgot to pick up that shit from Roseway. Duh. How how can I forget that? Where is it exactly? Well. Uh, run, 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 run. I knew I was missing something. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? My All right. Let's do that. Let's actually get through this. Should, we, we would be able to get it very fast, right? Hopefully. Well, what we'll do is we'll end off after getting the rose, you know. You know, after we get that stuff, we'll, uh... We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. Thank you. Remember that you... Gotcha. I am not assured. I know. Thank you. Or insured. Whatever floats your boat. So to speak. Alright. Are you serious? Why didn't I pick that up there? The fuck? I definitely remember going in here. And there we go. <laughs> I would laugh if they all just started filing in and it's just like, grinny, grinny, grinny. We're good. Alright. You're kidding me! I missed this? Wow. How did I miss that? Jesus. Well, no, because one of us is dead, but hey. Take it. Hey, that was fast. I mean, granted, I cleared out the place before, so... Of course it was going to be fast. I'm just that awesome. Anyway. Back to the unreliable. Because, <laughs> yeah. It... <sighs> A down companion will pop back up. Yeah, I know. No, I'm not 
crazy to not to do it like you know. All right. Oh, sick. Okay. Now. Does ah. Okay. Doesn't do anything. All right. Here we go. No. Oh. Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer. This SAM unit is unable to locate your registered information. Would you like to register your SAM? Yes. Registering new owner, Captain. Welcome to the crew. SAM units live to clean and clean to live. Sick! Got that fixed. Alright, so what is it that I have? I have a perk now? Details. I'm phobic because it. Wow, that's funny. I thought I had. I thought I had like a perk or something. Hmm. What is it called again? Oh yeah, clean machine. Okay. I'm so confused. What's the perk that he provides me? I don't even know. Anyway, let's talk to Ada now. Welcome back, Captain. All right. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Yeah, put him on the screen. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Can't you just send a message? Oh, I've tried. I haven't been able to get through to him at all. Silence from the system's own information broker? Not a good sign. Any idea why? Oh. Could be any number of reasons. Incarceration, a period of copious drinking, a severe case of the sleeping sickness. Better to be sure than to resort to conjecture. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Okay. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Alright, I am off. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Hey, we are now level 15. We are, we are very, we're going very fast and accelerating ourselves up here, huh? All right, five. That's pretty good. All right, then we'll put five into this. Just so we can have those. Because the rest, I can just, you know, it'll take, like, two more levels, so to speak. Because it's like two, four, and four. Or three, four, and four. You know what I mean. Fly. Yes. All right. What did I get? Third, drug mix gain, tinkering cost less, breakdown. Ew. Nice. We get some cool-ass perks. All right. But... At this point, we are actually going to call it here because instead of actually going to Monarch, like this wants us to go to, we're actually going to first go to Phineas's lab. And then we'll go to Monarch because, yeah. But until then, thank you guys for watching.
And I'll see you guys next time when we go to Phineas's lab to grab a gun and then go to Monarch to continue on the story. I'll see you guys then. Take care.